Hello, this is John Fugler. Before we get into this week's episode, I want to let you know that this is the final week you can get the free first chapter of my book, The Athletic Scholarship Playbook. Go to my website, recruitme.com, recruit-me.com, and download your free first chapter. Go ahead and get it right now. And that's because next week I got something brand new that I've been working on for months that I want to put together for you. Uh, it's something that will help just shoot you out of the gate when it comes to pursuing that athletic scholarship. I'm very excited about that. I'm not going to tell you what it is right now, but it will be offered on the next athletic scholarship podcast. But let's get into this episode. And I start with this question. What's the one thing that you can do? This is the athletic scholarship podcast episode number 88. Welcome to the Athletic Scholarship Podcast. I'm an athletic scholarship coach, author, speaker, and podcaster, and also the CEO of Recruit Me. I've got two scholarship athletes who went through the whole process several years ago and uh, came out with fully paid educations at the school of their choice. And the sponsor of the Athletic Scholarship Podcast this episode is my book, The Athletic Scholarship Playbook. Make sure you get a hold of it on Amazon. Got it on Kindle, paperback, and Audible. Hey, would you do me a favor? Would you share this episode with someone? Someone who you know needs to hear it? Maybe another parent, uh, another athlete, a relative? Somebody who needs to hear about athletic scholarships and how to get there, how to get down that scholarship road successfully. Well, I should say, after you hear it, if you like it, go ahead and share it, Okay. Hey, this episode, I want to focus on something that's going to be plain and simple. I mean, I'm one who doesn't like to give you too much information so you're confused. I don't want to give you too many off-ramps. We need to head down this road and get to that goal of an athletic scholarship. And I'm afraid there's so much information out here, out there these days, so much information online that we're... We're so information hungry to get that knowledge that we pull in all this information and we get stopped dead in our tracks. That, that's one response to that information. The, the other response to the information is that we, we try to do everything. And I got to tell you, I'm the kind of guy who chases rabbits. I do like new things. I like shiny new objects. I like new information. And when I head down a road and, and go down the rabbit trail and take that shiny object and I say, this is it, this is it, then I get lost, I slow down, I lose my momentum, and I fail in the things that I do. I want you to succeed in this athletic scholarship pursuit. I want this journey to be rich, not just financially, but rich exciting, and I want you to do it right. And that's what it's all about. That's why I put a step-by-step -step system together many years ago. Parents and athletes still using it today, and it works. What I want to ask you today, as I did on in the intro, what is your one thing? Uh, I'm not talking about what is your one thing in a goal, but let me, let me complete that, that thought. Let me respond to that question. In fact, let me take that question a bit further. You may have heard me share in a previous episode, I don't know, may have been a year ago or so, about the book, The One Thing, which helps you focus on the one most important thing that you can do to achieve your goal. It's a fantastic book. If you can get a hold of it, do it. I recommend that. If you're a rabbit chaser, if you like shiny new objects, man, this is going to bring you discipline. It has in my own life. Uh, in my day job, it's brought me discipline, which has enabled me to achieve more in less time. Time is limited in this scholarship pursuit. You need to achieve more. You need to make every week count, every month count. And this will help you do that. So let me complete that sentence for you because I don't have your answer. I don't have the answer. You do. It's within you, if you think about it. So the question is this, what is the one thing you can do that by doing it, 
makes everything else easier or unnecessary. I'll repeat that. What is the one thing that you can do that by doing it will make everything else easier or unnecessary? Let me take that apart for you. Help you come to a conclusion as to answer that question. What is the one thing? Not a, what are the two things or three things or five things? What are the five things on your to-do list that you can do to get to that athletic scholarship? I'm not talking about that. Forget the to-do list. To-do lists are bad anyway because we never get them done and we get lost in them and it only leads to frustration. What you need to have is one thing. What is the one thing? Okay, think about that. The one thing that you can do, that you can do, not that you want to do or you hope to do or you wish you could do, but what is the one thing that you can do that's within your power to do? Not a hope, not a dream, but a reality of doing. What is the one thing you can do that by doing it makes everything else Unnecessary, easier or unnecessary, easier or unnecessary. So what is that one thing? Okay, let me uh, create an illustration for you to make it clearer. And this, you've got to get this because by understanding and owning this concept, it will propel you forward in this athletic scholarship pursuit. I've seen it happen. It's happened in my own life, in many aspects of my life both professionally and personally. So let's take this apart. Imagine a domino. Imagine a series of 10 dominoes, okay? And the domino here is where you're at right now. The last domino is the one that needs to fall for you to get that athletic scholarship. That last domino down there, picture that. But there are a number of dominoes that need to fall before you get to that last one, and they need to fall in order. What is that first domino right now? The one thing you can do that by doing it makes everything else easier. You know, the domino falls and the others fall behind it or unnecessary. Maybe there's some things between here and there, maybe a couple of those dominoes, those steps that you don't need, those activities that you don't need. And I guarantee you there are some because I've been there. This does not have to be a complex process. So where does this meet reality? Where does this concept meet reality? What is that one thing that you need to do? Maybe that one thing is to respond to the coach who contacted you. Coach that emailed you and you're saying, oh, I'm going to get to that. I got so many other things to do. But that one thing that you can do that by doing it makes everything else easier or unnecessary. So you contact that coach. You respond to that coach. Perhaps the one thing that you can do is identify three camps that you need to attend this summer or one camp that you need to attend this summer. A lot of times we have so much going on in our minds that we freeze. We think, oh man, I've got to get this done. I've got to get this done. It just hangs on. It's on our to-do list and we don't get there. We've got other things we're doing. We've got too many things on the table. What is that one thing? Maybe it is to apply for that and sign up for that one camp you need to attend this summer the most strategic camp that you can attend this summer. That's the one thing, because by going to that, you'll get the attention of college coaches. You'll be seen. You'll begin a relationship. It'll be at a school that you're interested in. Maybe multiple coaches will be there from other schools. What, what is that one camp that you can attend that by attending it will make everything else easier or unnecessary? See, it goes back to working on those things that you can achieve, and it gets to be very basic. So what is the one thing that you can do regarding camps? Well, it is, okay, the one thing I can do is go to the website and sign up, right? It seems simple, but how long have you waited to take action on things like that? Perhaps your one thing is to make a list of 10 schools that you're interested in for an athletic scholarship. Make a list of 10 schools. Uh, you may go through the day and 
You may talk at the dinner table about this school and that school and this program and that program. Son, where do, what school interests you? What schools interest you? What kind of program? And you have this dialogue, but you never get it done. You're, you're always talking about it, but you're not doing it. If you get those, the list of 10 schools, that's a starting point. That could be the one thing you can do that by doing it makes everything else easier or unnecessary. When you have that list of schools, then you can contact them. Sure makes it easier to contact schools when you have schools to contact, doesn't it? Does that seem too simple? We get so hung up on, on things that could be solved simply. I know it. I've gone through it. What is the one thing you can do that by doing it makes everything else easier or unnecessary? What is that for you? Perhaps it's taking hitting lessons. Baseball season coming up, I'll use that illustration. Maybe that's the one thing you can do, that by doing it makes everything else easier, unnecessary. Because by taking those lessons, you improve your hitting, you elevate your uh, performance, and it's easier to get recruited. But you've got to work on a skill. Maybe it's working on that skill, whether it be hitting or running or throwing, whatever it might be. What is that one thing that you can do, not that you wish you could do, you can do, that by doing it makes everything else easier or unnecessary. Have I hit that hard enough for you? Uh, I encourage you to pick up the book and, and walk through that a little bit more. I'm talking about something here that takes it from theory to reality. You cannot just talk about getting recruited. You can't just wish you would get discovered. You can't just hope that your son or daughter would get seen by coaches. But what is the one thing you can do right now that you can do right now or today or tomorrow or this week that by doing that one thing, it makes everything else easier or unnecessary? What is that domino sitting right in front of you? Put, put a label on it. Name that domino. Think about this. If you push that domino over, it would set the other ones in motion as well. So don't be thinking too big. Be thinking the now. Be thinking of things you can do. Be thinking of the one thing you can do. Will you do me a favor? Now that I've hammered you with this, <laughs> um, by the way, this works in all of life. It works in all of life. Think about academics. Think about job. Think about family. Think about relationships. What is the one thing you can do right now? Uh, would you tell me? Would you email me? Got some emails back last week as I asked you to respond to me. But would you email me and let me know what your one thing is? If you need more clarification on this, ask me questions about it. Uh, men and women, athletes, I live by this now. I My whole life revolves around this question, which will determine success in the future. And it will work for you in your athletic scholarship pursuit. My email address is john, J-O-N, at recruitme.com. Recruit me is hyphenated, so john at recruit-me.com. I'll have a... Uh, a link in the show notes. Make sure you just let me know. And it makes you accountable too if you're telling me. And I want to know. Well, that's it for this week. Very simple, very much to the point, but that's the way I am as we go through this scholarship journey together. Please ask me questions if you have them. And I've had many who have done that and I love to respond. So that's it for this week. Take care. God bless you.